and welcome back to the final video. Well done, you made it to the end. You're so close to finishing your first sock. So we're going to need a pair of scissors and a darning needle so we can kitchen at the end of the sock which is just basically sewing it up, nothing complicated. So we need to leave a tail of about 10 inches so I'm going to do that I don't know what 10 inches is so I'm going to use my <laughs> I love my little tape measure <laughs> it was free on a magazine so I'm going to do 10 inches or thereabouts and just get my needle onto this yarn okay now like we did with um, magic loop where we just took that wire at the bottom and pulled it out that's what we want to do halfway so I have 28 stitches so I need 14 on each side 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 so it is there so divide your stitches up into two equal parts and just bring them onto those needles. Carefully you don't shoot off the end of the needles and lose your stitches. We don't want them to go yet. So all we are going to do is put your needle in the first one so it's attached on the other side and oops dropped it so we're going to put the needle up as if you were going to stitch knit the stitch so think of this as a knitting needle and just knit take it through well knit Pull it off, take it through, and then purl. So go down. But this time you're not going to pull it through, pull it off, sorry. You pull it through, but then you're going to go to the other needle. And then we're going to go to the other side and you're going to purl that stitch. So go down, oh, I'm caught in the end. And Take that one off the end, pull that through and then you're going to knit but leave it on, don't take that off and that is the sequence that you're doing, just give it a little pull. So back to the other side, so the sequence is knit off, purl purl off knit so it's knit as if to knit and take it off pull it through purl leave it on over to the other side purl oops purl and take it off, pull it through, and then knit and leave it on. So careful not to lose those stitches. Then back over to the other side. So then we're going to knit. And take it off. We're going to purl and leave it on. Where are my other needle? Back to the other side. Purl and take it off. Knit and leave it on. 
to the first one again, knit and take it off, purl and leave it on. Over to the other needle, purl and take it off, knit and leave it on. Can you say okay there? So you can see there if we just stop for a moment, you can see how it's joining together. That's how it should be going. So carry on. So we've just done the back one, so we're going to do this one. So it's knit and take it off. Pearl and leave it on. Pearl and take it off. Knit and leave it on. If it wasn't so fiddly, it'd be quite relaxing really, wouldn't it? <laughs> so back to the front one. Knit and take it off. It's all curling up. Can't see. Pearl and leave it on. Caught up. Other one. Pearl and take it off. Knit and leave it on. Back to the other one. Knit and take it off. Pearl and leave it on. Over the other side. Pearl. Take it off, knit and leave it on. Other side, knit, take it off, pearl and leave it on. Back over. Sorry, pearl and take it off. Knit and leave it on. This side, knit and take it off. Pearl and leave it on. Back over. Pearl and take it off. Oops, doesn't want to go off. Knit and leave it on. Back over, knit. And take it off. Leave it on. Oh, and I've lost the end. Okay, <laughs> I've re-threaded. So, 
we're going to just purled and left it on so now we're going to purl and take it off and knit and leave it on back over knit and take it off purl and leave it on over the other side oh my arm caught I'll put the instructions below as well so if you do lose track of where you are you can refer back so we've just purled at the front and left on so we're going to purl at the back and take off and then as if knit and leave on and then knit and take off oops you drop your needle and then purl oh it's just coming off again and leave on Okay, so don't do what I just did and dropped my stitches off my needle when I was trying to thread. So I hope I haven't lost any, I don't think so. But if I see anything that's loose, if you do find you've dropped a stitch and you see that it's loose, then you can always, when we finish, just put your needle through that and pull it to the back just to secure it anyway. So don't worry too much. So I've just purled and left on. So I'm going to go over to the other side and... Pearl and take off. Oh. And knit and leave on. Then knit, take off. Pearl, leave on. And pearl, take off, and I've just dropped the final stitch. No, where you gone? Okay, so I've just lost my final stitch. So what I'm going to do, and when you've done your final stitch, which was the knit one, you want to put your hand in your sock. I'm still looking for my final stitch. I can't see a loose one, so I'm hoping I'm okay. <laughs> this is real world we're talking about. So what we're going to do is put this needle through to take it back to the other side. So what I do is I look, I can see a hole there. So what I want to do, no, actually... So what I want to do, where can I show you? So I can see a hole there. So what I want to do with pulling this through is close up that hole if I can. So I'm going to go down under that stitch first to take me over there. And then I'm going to pull it through there and then pinch on the inside of your sock so you've got the needle in your hand and then your fingers are around it so you're pinching the actual sock because then we're going to pull the sock back over inside out keep hold of it don't hurt yourself with the needle and then if we put our hand back in the other way We've got our needle there and we can just secure that off. So then all you do is secure that off. So you just run it through some stitches. Just 
just take it through and back again on yourself so it's nice and secure just at the back not through the front just pull that so it doesn't come shooting back again and then just cut it off and turn your sock back the other way and you're all done and there you have your completed sock so congratulations you've done fantastically to finish it so now you just have to do one more the same and then you can either follow my next tutorial we're going to do patterned one or go and get another pattern and you can follow it yourself I'm sure you're very capable and you'll do really well. So good luck and thank you for joining me through these tutorials. I've had so much fun doing them and it's so nice to know there's more knitters out there because of these videos. It's It's been a lovely experience so thank you for sharing it with me. So until next time we spend some time together, I'll say goodbye and good luck with all your knitting. Bye for now.